okay, let me double check and see what I need to do to finish my weaving. First, I notice this is still popping up, so I'm gonna put some glue, glue it down. One, two, three, four, five. Really try to make sure it's kind of folding over. On the back, I can glue these down too. That's a good idea to just make sure everything is nice and secure. Really using my finger muscles to press it down. Because this is going to become a woven wall hanging. So remember, I get to use my painted paper however I want the extra pieces. So I still have these extras. Hmm. I might glue this one down here. I saw somebody do something cool with that. So let's see. I'm going to add at least two times over with my glue stick to make sure it sticks. Take it, flip it over. Hmm, I'm gonna put it right along the edge, right along the bottom. Press it, one, two, three, four, five. I have some extra space here. I don't know if I wanna do anything there. I have this one. Ooh, that might look clinical there. Okay, put glue one, two times. Take it, press it down. Ooh, that makes it look kind of more finished. I'm gonna line it up with the edge, press it down. Love it. Okay, now I'm going to use some scissors to make oh, some fringe. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. I'm putting them kind of close, not too, too close. And of course, I want to go all the way across oh so cool i love the fringe effect okay now finishing steps i can use two feathers if i want if i'm going to use feathers i'm going to use a glue bottle Add a little bit of, and I can put these wherever I want. I was thinking on the bottom might be cool. I put the glue on it, press it down, let it set. Put the glue, I should have done this last too. Put the glue, press it down, let it set. Ooh, that looks so cool. Now I can use, to finish my wall hanging, that's not stuck. I can use a hole puncher, okay? So I'm gonna flip it over, so it's upside down now. I'm gonna do one, two holes. I could do three, four if I want to. I don't really want you to do more than four. Then you're gonna go pick your yarn. Um, I might want to pick a different color, but I have this handy, so I'll just show you. I can take my yarn in my bag to my seat, find the end. Don't just cut anywhere. I will not be happy if you do that. Then I figure out how long of a piece of yarn I need. I always cut it a little bit longer just in case. So if I need it to kind of hang like that, I'll cut it that long. And then I cut. Yarn goes back in the bag and goes back exactly where I found it. This is multicolor. So I put it in a multicolor container. Now I'm going to, ooh, this is fun. I'm going to kind of weave it through. So press it through, go back, and then I'm gonna just tape it on the back. Or if you know how to tie it, but that's a little bit trickier. Same thing over here, weave it forward, weave it through and back. And then I decide how long I want this part to be, How how much I want it to hang. Then I can flip it over and get some. I have tape for you. So we'll just get some small pieces of tape. I can't find the end. And then I can just take this end, tape it down. I don't want to see the tape. So you can just rip it off or cut it. 
And then the extra yarn I can just cut off. Same thing over here. Tape it. Trim it. I don't need that extra yarn. Now I flip it over. Oh my goodness, I have the most beautiful wall hanging. Yay!